In podcast number seven, we're going to deal with cytokinesis. And we're going to go over cytokinesis in both animal cells and plant cells. But first of all, what is cytokinesis? Well, it will occur during telophase, although occasionally it can start towards the end of anaphase. It's defined as the actual division of the cytoplasm into two daughter cells. So this is when the cell itself will exactly split in two so that you have uh, two complete daughter cells essentially the fission like you had in the prokaryotic cells. In animal cells, it is identified with the formation of a cleavage furrow. The word cleavage means to cut, and furrow means to, to kind of make a ditch or to pinch in. And it's this pinching in will continue until the cell is completely pinched in the two. We have a picture coming up that will show this a lot clearer. In plant cells, we have that cell wall to contend with. And essentially, when you do cytokinesis in a, in a plant cell, you're just going to make another cell wall. And that begins with a cell plate. Now, this cell plate will be the beginning of, this is the start of a new cell wall. So start of cell wall. And the Golgi body is involved in this. So the Golgi is going to make the vesicles that contain the cellulose that's going to create the cell plate. Okay, uh, Just kind of think of the Golgi likes to have a plate of salad. I always remember it as this. Plants form a salad, salad plate, Golgi likes to eat it, you know, Italian salad, Italian dressing, etc. Kind of corny, but it works for me. All right. And then as I just said, it stated, this cell plate will then become the new cell wall between the two cells. All right, now everything that was just talked about will be explained in these pictures. Uh, so over on this side of the picture, you've got the animal cell, and over here you've got the plant cell. Right, and as you can see here, this is what's great about this artist drawing here. You remember microfilaments from the study of the cytoskeleton? Uh, microfilaments means tiny threads. You have a bunch of tiny threads that will come along the equator of the cell. And they'll just begin to tighten up. So imagine you're taking a belt and you're tightening it and tightening it and tightening it. And eventually it's going to cut through. So you can see this little indentation right there. That will be the cleavage furrow. And you have a great picture here of an actual cell going through it. And eventually it pinches into two. And you have two identical daughter cells. Now remember, these nuclei were completed during the telophase part of mitosis. Now over here on the plant cell, the Golgi is going to create some transport vesicles, and inside these transport vesicles is going to be cellulose, which is the carbohydrate that's the main component of a cell wall. These vesicles will fuse together to form one great big long vesicle. That's the cell plate proper. The cell plate will then grow until it touches the rest of the uh, cell wall, and you essentially have two cell walls right here. Now, these cells are going to be able to grow to twice their size. So as these cells get wider, the cell wall is going to be extended out to probably about here. Right. So this was the size of the mother cell, and now the daughter cells are half the size of that. But they can also grow. Right. That will conclude podcast number seven, Cytokinesis.